Hey guys, Farmer Jesse here. Today, when you guys think butternut squash, you think soup, right? You think pureed butternut squash, you think roasted butternut squash and root veggies and that sort of thing. Forget all that. We're, those are great and they have their place. They're wonderful. That is a beautiful way to prepare butternut squash, but let's try something a little different. Today, I want to talk about how to do butternut squash raw. So let's do it. Alright, so I'm going to share a few recipes. If you have a spiralizer, you can use the spiralizer for any of this. I broke our spiralizer, so we don't have any more. But if you have one, you can, and if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can use a grater like I do. You can use a, a peeler. You can get creative with it, do slices, and then do peels. All of that works. But the thing is, get that hard out, outside off. Get the hard part off, and then um, and then work with just the, 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 the meat of the butternut squash. So I did a few different things. One of the first things I did, I actually took long, kind of thicker strips of it, and I took a little goat cheese, mixed it with some lemon juice and some cilantro and parsley and some salt and pepper, and I rolled it in that as a little hors d'oeuvre. I mean, that was super simple and that was delicious. I, uh, I, I love that. It was really, really good. Uh, the uh, Another thing that I did with it was I took a little bit of the uh, butternut squash and I mixed it with a little sage. Sage and butternut squash go really well together. I kind of regret mixing the sage though. Uh, with the raw butternut squash, stick to your brighter herbs, your cilantro, basil, uh, mint, uh, parsley, but tarragon, dill, you know, maybe, maybe dill would work, but tarragon, um, sage, thyme, those are more for roasted butternut squash. They go great, but use them more when you're roasting. So after I tossed it in that in that little bit of herb and some, some lemon juice, I actually made some farro, which is a grain. You can also use rice. Um, I toasted the farro. I you know brought it up to a boil and let it cook for about 20 minutes until it was soft, and then I strained it. You can cool it off and set that as a base. I use this hot. Um, some black beans and then some that little bit of salad right on top with the raw butternut squash, and that was delicious. Except the only thing I would change is I would take the sage out. I would just use cilantro and parsley. And then another kind of variation on that uh, was that I took those, some of those thicker strips and I actually shaved in some Parmesan, uh, a little bit of rice vinegar, and had that sort of over that bed of um, farro and put some uh, toasted pecans around it and that was delicious. Drizzled a little olive oil to finish. Um, that was wonderful and that, that, that was so easy. With those, with those fresh herbs, it's great. I think another thing you could really do with it is you could toss, you could just grate it or run it through your spiralizer and toss it in some pesto. Um, the pesto would be, you know, add the acidity that you need and also, you know, the nuts and all the crunch, like it would add all of those things in the cheese. You could do all of that by just making a quick pesto and tossing your, your uh, butternut squash in it. And then lastly, uh, we took a little bit of just what was left over and put it over some tacos. And it was delicious. Uh, you know, we just put that little bit right over top, and um, it was great. Uh, butternut squash raw. It's it's such a revelation for me because I I can't even I don't think I've ever had raw butternut squash until last week when I started working on these recipes. Um, but it's super tasty. It's so fresh and delicious, and it's so bright. Uh, so play around with it. Let us know what you guys do with it. Uh, otherwise. That's about it. If you like this video, please like this video. Uh, subscribe if you like, share it with your friends if you like. Um, and if you like, leave a comment. We love to hear from you guys. And otherwise, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.